Hey everyone, in this quick talk, I want to talk about the brand new free applied skills that are now available for various Microsoft technologies. Now, when we think about the credentials that are available for Microsoft technologies, we're very much used to the idea of certifications. Now those certifications, we, we pay for them. And then we get those renewals, which are free by those online assessments. It's a very broad depth, a breadth of our knowledge about the technology. So it's fairly broad and it's taken in a very curated environment. We have a lockdown experience. It's for a set amount of time. We can't view or do other things during that. But we get this certification that attests that we have this particular set of knowledge, typically focused around a certain role. Now what's being introduced are these new applied skills. And as I mentioned, these are free. And it's really focused on a very specific skill. And if you think of these as this very curated lockdown experience, these are not. This is all web-based. It's not locked down in any way. I can still be doing other things while I'm taking one of these. It is very much just an interactive, I'm using the real Azure. And right now these are all two hours long. So don't think of this as an or, these very much um, add, they complement each other very, very nicely. I can think about all my certifications show I have a certain set of broad, a breadth of knowledge around a certain role I may want to do. Applied skills show I have the ability to perform some very, very specific targeted sets of actions around a very, very specific scenario. And that's what these are all about. But again, it's free. It's this fantastic two hour in the real Azure experience. It's not some simulated, I'm actually creating the resources in Azure. Now, if we jump over and take a look at this, right now we can see there are eight of these applied skills. So there's things around Microsoft Sentinel, there's Azure Networking, Power Automate, ASP.NET, Kubernetes, Azure Monitor, Defender for Cloud, Azure Files and Blob Storage. And I can just go in and take one of these applied skills. Now for each of these applied skills, let's just go and look at, for example, Azure Monitor. The first thing it has is it tells you the tasks you're going to perform. It gives you a learning path to help you prepare for this assessment. And then once you've prepared, I can just say, hey, I want to start. It's telling you you're gonna have two hours and then I just click start and it will launch me into the experience. Now the way this is structured is the two hours is plenty. I took two of them, I did the networking one and the storage one just to get an idea. Each one took me 30 minutes and that was while I was doing other things. So you have a huge amount of time, but obviously they have to limit the amount of time because it's using real Azure, it's doing real consumption and it wants to make sure you stay focused to some extent on the task. So I have two hours and I'm gonna get really a set of guidance via emails. Imagine there's some certain actors emailed saying we need this done, well then we need this done, we need this done. And then in the Azure portal, I go through and actually perform these various actions. Of course, I'm saying the Azure portal, it will vary the interface I used based on the specific technology it is asking you to perform. Again, it's not a simulation. I'm in the real tools. Now in those emails, make sure you read the guidance very carefully. It might tell you to do it in a very specific resource group. And it's important you follow this exactly because what's gonna happen is at the end of the two hour lab, it's gonna take a dump of the resources that exist and compare them to what it's expecting if I followed the instructions correctly. So if I went and created things in different places, if I don't follow the instructions, well, it's not gonna match what they're gonna go and look for. 
But again, this is not locked down. It's a window in your browser. I can be doing other things while I'm doing this. If you're not sure on something, hey, maybe go and reread that particular bit of learning so then I can understand it. That's really the key point. Now make sure you don't hit the submit button before you've read all of the emails. And if you were doing a provisioning, creating a new resource, make sure it's finished. You always have that little icon that shows progress. Check everything is finished deploying, everything is finished configuring, and then I can go ahead and click the submit. Because again, it's comparing what exists at the time you click submit to what it's expecting to be there if you followed all of the instructions correctly. And then within 60 seconds, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get your score. Now, in this case, if I jump over to mine, we can see I took two of them. I did the advanced, uh, so the Azure networking and the storage. And if you click on one of them, you can go and view your credential and I can go and share it. I can go and add it very easily to LinkedIn, for example, but I can share it in other ways. It shows me again my score. And what you'd see after, within about 60 seconds, when you take this, you'll see your results. And your results will tell you, well, did you get a certain task wrong? If you did, well, then you know, hey, I need to go and refocus on that. Uh, that's where I spend a bit of time. I'll reread those materials that help me with that task. And then three days later, I can take it again. So I can't take it again immediately. There is a wait because again, you're using Azure resources. So there's a little bit of a delay before I can retake it. But every three days, I could take it and I get that two hour window. I can't pause it. It's a continuous two hour period. But again, that's a lot of time. Um, you'll be able to go and read materials and check things as you're taking it. And I really think these are fantastic. I think, yes, they're great to go and show, hey, I can actually go and do this particular skill. But for someone trying to learn Azure, well, it enables me to understand what are the common tasks associated with that skill. It gives me a way to validate my knowledge of that skill. It's an environment to perform that skill in. So maybe I don't have an Azure environment. Maybe I'm restricted on things I can create. This gives me Azure or whatever this particular technology is for that period of time. So even if maybe I don't even care that much about the applied skill, it gives me a chance to go and practice and use those skills to fine tune and just get better and better. And then of course it does help validate to others that I can perform that all for free. And I really think that is the key point. So that was it. I really do recommend them. There's a whole bunch already and I think these are gonna grow over time. It just complements very nicely the certifications that show that broader breadth of knowledge to now, hey, I have this very specific set of skills. They're very low stress. There is no curation about it. You're just going in, hey, there's a set of emails, do this in the portal. And you've got a very generous amount of time to do that. A lot of fun. Go and get your hands on. Until next video, take care.